Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the spooky history behind one of the most iconic rides at Disney World, the Tower of Terror. It's a ride that sends shivers down the spine of even the bravest of thrill seekers. And it all began with a simple idea, to create a ride that was both thrilling and terrifying. The Tower of Terror first opened in 1994 at Disney's Hollywood Studios, and it quickly became a fan favorite. The ride takes place inside the abandoned Hollywood Tower Hotel, where guests board a service elevator that suddenly drops, taking riders on a thrilling journey through the hotel's haunted history. But what many people don't know is that the ride is actually based on a real-life hotel, the Hollywood Tower Hotel in Los Angeles. The hotel opened in 1929 and was designed to be a luxurious destination for Hollywood's elite. But the hotel's fortunes took a turn for the worse in 1939 when a lightning strike caused an elevator to plummet to the ground, killing five people. Despite this tragedy, the hotel continued to operate for several more decades, with rumors of hauntings and ghost sightings becoming increasingly common. In 1989, the hotel was sold to Disney, and the Imagineers began developing the concept for the Tower of Terror ride. To bring the ride to life, Disney Imagineers spared no expense. They researched the hotel's history and meticulously recreated the hotel's design and decor, complete with cobwebs and eerie lighting. The ride's music, composed by Richard Bellis, was inspired by classic horror films like Psycho and The Twilight Zone. Speaking of The Twilight Zone, the show's creator, Rod Serling, played a key role in the ride's development. Serling's distinctive voice narrates the ride's pre-show, setting the stage for the spooky adventure to come. Serling's involvement was a nod to the show's iconic episode, A Stop at Willoughby in which a character dreams of escaping to a peaceful town called Willoughby, a clear inspiration for the Hollywood Tower Hotel's backstory. But the Tower of Terror isn't just a ride, it's a full-fledged experience. The queue is filled with hidden details and Easter eggs for fans of the Twilight Zone and classic Hollywoods, and once you board the elevator, you're in for a wild ride. The Tower of Terror features not one but multiple drops, each one more intense than the last, and thanks to a randomized drop sequence, no two rides are exactly the same. Over the years, the Tower of Terror has become a beloved icon of Disney World. It's been featured in countless commercials, TV shows, and movies, and it's inspired countless imitators at theme parks around the world. And despite rumors of its impending closure, the Tower of Terror remains as popular as ever. So if you're brave enough to face your fears, head to Disney's Hollywood Studios and take a ride on the Tower of Terror. But be warned, once you board that elevator, there's no going back. 